caveat way here at the Denver Loft Sessions, right here, right now. Check one, two, check one, two. Just a song about the human race making a choice. Just um, we're in some, to me, critical times, you know, and environmentally, socially, and uh, religions crisscrossing, and just uh, looking deep within and reflecting. And then uh, hopefully we we come from the gut with our with our uh, with our feelings toward the world, giving everybody a chance. It's kind of what people is to me. Dan Brown, I'm from Longmont, I play bass. Colin Brown from Longmont, I play drums. I'm Blake Smith from Longmont, Colorado, and I play guitar. I'm Darren Wurzberg, I'm from Longmont, Colorado, and I play the, uh, the guitar. I'd say the first time I ever listened to the album Hail to the Thief by Radiohead, uh, I'd always done piano and horn in bands, and I just kind of heard that album and ran home and had to learn how to play guitar right away. It's 
take your time to do this heartless grind. It will come your way if you push your vanity far away. Cause if they don't know which way to go, open your eyes. like it yeah we got a good thing going and I think our sound is good and for an original band so it's good it's great I mean everybody else is awesome um, staying the bass players my dad um, so that's fun uh, yeah I and mean, I think it's just totally different sound we're all original and everything so it's it's a good time for sure Really exciting to play in Caveat Way. It's a great time. Uh, Stan and Colin, really, their father and son, they've been playing together their whole life. They've got a really nice groove going. Darren writes wonderful songs and is a great singer, and I'm just having fun trying not to mess the songs up. We had a, a form called the Wayward Brothers at first. We kind of felt like we were lost brothers, and then we found each other. And then once we recorded together, originally, we didn't feel like Wayward Brothers anymore. So we felt a collective with one another. And then we just kind of um, dove into sounds of words and, 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 and concepts of words and a caveat being like an alternative way and a, you know, kind of fit, like here's another way of seeing things. When you're at Red Rocks for a hike or a concert, did you know you can do your part to keep one of Denver's favorite parks clean? Friends of Red Rocks is a large volunteer organization that cleans up the park monthly and during shows. They do their cleanup thing on the last Saturday of each month and meet in the south lot. Go online for more info. And remember, when you're at the Rocks this year, partying at Shakedown Street in the south lot or tossing a football and bumping the base in the north, please pick up after yourself. If you enjoy the arts, which are a big part of civic life, then stay informed on other civic things by watching award-winning local TV programs and city council meetings live and on demand every day on Denver 8 TV. Denver music fans know how lucky we are to have the world-class concert venue Red Rocks right in our backyard. This season's concert schedule is filling up fast, so check online for when your favorite artists will be playing. 
Many of the same production pros that bring you the Denver Loft Sessions also produce another great show on Denver 8 TV, Red Rocks Premieres. Go online for more information and schedules for both shows, and be sure to check us out on Facebook and YouTube. So whether you're enjoying your favorite music outside at The Rocks, or on your couch with Denver ATV, we'll keep you rocking all year long. Awesome. Uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy seeing him learn and grow as a musician. I made him sit in the car and do that until he got mad. <laughs> It's a pretty interesting scene. I mean, we have everything from original rock to jam bands to bluegrass and metal and all kinds of stuff. So I think it's pretty sweet. It's happening. It's it's growing. It's it's evolving. Um, it's giving everybody a chance from from folk to you know to bluegrass to rock and to tribute bands. Um, it's got a lot of character and a lot of color to it. And um, I hope for more venues. And uh, I hope hope for more. Um, venues to 
support live music? It's always been really vibrant. I remember spending a lot of time down in Denver on Colfax, going to shows as a teenager, and I think the whole front range music scene has been growing the whole time I've been in it. There's always really exciting venues and really cool bands helping put this together. Sometimes just a, a poetic expression in some ways, just a guttural passion of sorts. Um, I just like to put my, as deep as I can inside out. I'm a mid-range singer, I just telling my story through it. If you enjoy the arts, which are a big part of civic life, then stay informed on other civic things by watching award-winning local TV programs and city council meetings live and on demand every day on Denver 8 TV. 
Denver music fans know how lucky we are to have the world-class concert venue, Red Rocks, right in our backyard. This season's concert schedule is filling up fast, so check online for when your favorite artists will be playing. Many of the same production pros that bring you the Denver Lost Sessions also produce another great show on Denver 8 TV, Red Rocks Premieres. Go online for more information and schedules for both shows, and be sure to check us out on Facebook and YouTube. So whether you're enjoying your favorite music outside at The Rocks, or on your couch with Denver 8 TV, we'll keep you rocking all year long. When you're at Red Rocks for a hike or a concert, did you know you can do your part to keep one of Denver's favorite parks clean? Friends of Red Rocks is a large volunteer organization that cleans up the park monthly and during shows. They do their cleanup thing on the last Saturday of each month and meet in the South Lot. Go online for more info. And remember, when you're at the Rocks this year, partying at Shakedown Street in the South Lot or tossing a football and bumping the base in the North, please pick up after yourself. Adam Sandler. <laughs> Me? I have no idea. Oh, Meryl Streep can do anything. Uh, Ralph Macchio. <laughs> Moonlight shining bright I feel my heart tonight On this cold boat now with the snow pond high Walk this road too far It's chill in my bones and this melancholy soul Walk to clear my side Said I walk to clear my side
probably other music more than anything else. Certainly societal things that I notice, personal things that create obviously any sort of feeling that I want to express, but I mostly sit down to write when I'm just excited about music itself. My angel giving me the chance Yeah, the chance to be an angel too the Thread Barons draw from folk, rock and roll, blues, honky tonk, and countless genres and weave together vocal harmonies and affecting lyrics. The band brings a distinctive, genuine sound and a bona fide performance. Don't miss the Thread Barons on the next Denver Loft Sessions.